I'm a program manager at Microsoft. So logically, that means two things. I don't program software, and I don't manage people. So in order to get my ideas into software, I have to pitch every day to people who can actually create stuff, developers and testers. This is a lot easier if people like you and trust you. So when you meet someone, you need to do a care bear stare, which is sending love and happiness towards them. If you're human, it's a lot better to do this from your heart and also not to have a constipated look upon your face. <laughs> Next, when you start talking to people, instead of being interesting, be interested in them by asking them questions and being genuinely curious about things that they care about. Next, in order to get someone to trust you, you need to trust them first. For example, I took my son to work one day and suddenly I needed to go to a meeting. So I asked a coworker to look after him. So now he knows that I trust him and I got free childcare. Win, win. <laughs> when you want something valuable, this seems obvious, but you need to ask for it. And it works a lot better if you ask nicely. Next, explain the benefits to you, your team, the world. It's a lot easier to say yes when you know why. And also, flattery often works. Now, I'm sure you're all working on amazing and awesome things, but sometimes boring shit happens or has to happen. So how do you get people to do it? Well, first, if you can, eliminate it. Next, if you're like me and not a creator, do it for the people who actually create stuff. Then make it way easier than this pie is. It seems a little complicated to me. The next thing you can do is shock people. So I got this email from my manager, and it was entitled, Free Tickets to Hawaii. I read it immediately, I laughed, and then I completed the boring survey he wanted me to fill out. Caution, you have to use this sparingly. Next, Mary Poppins was right. In every job that is to be done, there's an element of fun. So find that for people. And if all else fails, bribe them. It's amazing what busy, well-paid people will do for free food. <laughs> the hardest person to motivate is often myself. So of course, I joined a cult. And I want all of you to join this cult with me. It's the cult of done. Bing it, read it, love it, join it. It's fantastic. Next, you need to eliminate distractions. Close your door, close Twitter, close Facebook, close email. But you're thinking, oh, my job is email. Turn it offline. Make sure you get those Outlook or email notifications off. They're very distracting. Do not multitask. Our brains are not CPUs. We are not good at context switching. Super focused people or super successful people focus on one thing at a time. Exception, maybe jugglers. So what next? Everything's going really well. So you probably want a new job. Um, in marketing, there's the four Ps. Pitching yourself is so important, there are 14 Ps. First of all, you need to make yourself make sure you're pitching for the right job by looking at the position, people, product, triangle, and figuring out what is important for you on each of these axes. Um, when I first started out, I thought cool products was the most important thing, but now I realize that cool people are, and so that's something that I really focus on when I'm looking for a job. Next, you need to prepare. You need to use the product or investigate the area that you're looking at and have some sort of opinion. Next, pre-reference. References available on request is so 2002. Use LinkedIn and Facebook and get someone to do that pre-introduction for you. Personal hygiene, have to have it. Do not, when you go to the interview, smell good or at least don't smell bad. It's very awkward to hire someone whose name you can't pronounce. So make sure they can pronounce it or give yourself a nickname. Make sure you punctuate your superpower at the interview, at the beginning and at the end of it, because that's what people remember most and show your passion throughout by asking great questions. Next, once you have all that down, you need to practice and practice and practice to get better. Just like in baseball, um, you can't pitch a perfect game without a ton of practice. So you can practice with friends and your mentors, um, but once you're actually done practicing, maybe you actually want to do it for real. So if your triangle looks like that, except maybe you're a bit more tech focused and you're an amazing developer, the OneNote team wants to hire you. If your triangle looks like that, you're a bit more tech focused, you're an amazing developer, and you notice there weren't 14 Ps, our test team wants to hire you. So email me at Nicole T at Microsoft or come talk to me after. Also, Andrew Cherry over there is wearing a OneNote shirt. He could be your next boss. Always be pitching, everyone. Thank you.